Hey there growers, let's talk about food systems. This is a new track for OGS this year, and we're really excited to share it with you. As organic growers and eaters, we can't ignore the part we play, or don't play, in our food systems. And if we grow, we know growing is a revolutionary act. The industrial commodified food system, as it exists currently, is inequitable, destructive for people and the planet, and quite frankly, slowly killing us. As Vandana Shiva, activist and farmer once said, we must occupy the food system to create food democracy. In essence, this is what the food systems track is all about. First up, we have Mari Stewart, regenerative agriculture activist, sustainable development pro professor, and home grower will be teaching discovering your local food shed which will help eaters outline strategies for shifting more of your food consumption to your local food resources. Next in this track, Jory Bryant from Symbodied in Durham, North Carolina, is a cultural historian and chef. His work focuses on connecting the complicated cultural histories of food and agriculture with the realities of injustice and inequity. In his session, Fitting into the Food System, will explore the relationship to agriculture and society by examining the history of the U.S. food system, with a particular interest in its treatment of the environment, Black and Indigenous peoples, and small farmers. Last in the track, we have April Jones, our neighbor down in Columbia, South Carolina, who runs the Pinehurst Farmers Market talking about local food impact. We'll learn how to create a local food market and strategies for to bring communities together by taking steps to maintain and expand your local food system and local food knowledge in your community. We are very excited about this track and hope you'll join us for these three incredible sessions with these amazing community activists. So local food, it's hip, it's wholesome. We all like the sound of it. We like the taste of it. Still most of us meet our food needs from the supermarket or the grocery store. Are there actual local alternatives and how do we find them? In other words, how do we make local eating part of our everyday lives? Hi, I'm Marie Stewart at the Organic Grower School Spring Conference this year. I'm doing a workshop called Discover Your Local Food Shed. A food shed being just the geographical region from which you source your food. So for our great-grandparents and the people before that, this just came naturally. It was what you did. You ate from your local region. So why is it that for us today, so for many of us, it feels like this challenging ordeal and we don't even know where to start? Taking inspiration from local food writers like Barbara Kingsolver and organizations like the Slow Food Movement, in the past year I've done a series of local food months, one in each season, where I would eat um, with it from within 50 miles of my, of my doorstep in Asheville, North Carolina. And in this workshop, I share the steps and resources that, that I myself found helpful in that process. And the way I like to talk about this is adopting local food habits or transitioning to sourcing more of your food locally. So it doesn't have to be 100% local food. Wow. The main point I want to make is uh, you start where you are, you do what you can and go from, from there. But just to whet your appetites, in this workshop I share some of the most delicious and inspiring local food uh, books and sources that I've found. I share ideas for meals that you can make from locally sourced ingredients around the year with lots of pretty pictures. And lastly, we get to the, kind of the biggest questions, some of the biggest questions of our food system, namely, how do we make this accessible? Both in the sense of how do we make local eating affordable and secondly, how do we tailor this to special diets and dietary preferences? So I hope you'll join me in the workshop and discover and deepen your culinary life by bringing it closer to home. Hello, my name is Jory Bryan of Simbody. I'm here to talk about the food system. As a person who worked in many parts of the food system, all the way from agriculture to working in restaurants, 
our society right now is moving away from a desire and a care to know where our food comes from. One of my primary objectives is to address the oppressive nature of our food system. If there's any hope for us to have a more healthier, better system, then we have to understand where we are socially located in this system. Wherever we stand, we have to know where we want to be and how we want our system and society to go. How do we sit? How do we counterbalance? How do we enact? Do you just want to sell at a high rate or do you want to actually affect change? I will put my website on the page so you can see and hear about what I do. But I also want you to think about what can be done in your community, whether you interact with me or not. Hi, this is April Jones of the Pinehurst Farmers Market, located in Columbia, South Carolina. And I am so excited for you guys to come and hear my talk about your local food system and your local food economy in your community and how you'll be able to build a resource for food and access, food justice and food sovereignty. So come and hear my amazing talk. You're gonna learn a lot of really good tips and techniques that is going to make your community vibrant and thriving and to help your food economy and your local food system. You'll hear about all the successes that I've been able to have at the Pinehurst Farmers Market in Columbia, South Carolina and how you can replicate that success using the assets of your community, using the resources of your community, and using the local food heritage of your community. I am so excited for you and for me and for all of us to be able to have this awesome conversation and this for you to learn some awesome, amazing tips that are gonna make you more successful in your community and to build up your community because it's we are nothing without our community. We are nothing without our food access and our food sovereignty in our own community. So I look forward to having the conversation. I look forward to interacting with all of you and I will talk to you soon.